No matter who you are or where you live, if your passion is hunting, then make your dreams come true. Join us on a great safari and adventure as we traverse five continents in search of world's finest hunting trophies. Join the best professional hunters in the world in search for the best trophy animals. You will experience unforgettable hunting adventures and international cultures that few people on earth get to know. Share the thrill of the ultimate challenge to promote the sustained use of world's greatest renewable resources, wildlife conservation, and fair chase hunting. Feel the excitement, share the passion, join the experience of the ultimate adventure that this world has to offer. Let Safari Season take you there. So far in the episode, we witnessed the worthy performance of the French hunters. We saw shooting down exceptional hunting trophies of reindeer and mouflons. Yet there are several days ahead of us to see the way a group of hunters would successfully end the large game hunting that was started in the Elena Balkan. In the remaining minutes, we will follow the numerous hunting situations and the unforgettable moments that Mendita has destined our guests from Western Europe and the USA to. Make yourselves comfortable to see the most interesting of that large game safari in Bulgaria. In the evening after Dave's successful mouflon hunting, we were pleasantly surprised by the hosts. The small piglet killed by Jean-Luc the previous day was covered with a crispy browning while slowly rotating above the fire in the hunting chalet. The next day, the sun rays had not covered the earth when Bruno and his hunting guide Stefan bothered the calm forest inhabitants. The deer had left that forest part and their roars were not bothering the animals. The mouflons were calm, and after 15 minutes, we took a glimpse of the twisted horns amidst the trees. As the sun rose, the mouflons started fleeing to their favorite feeding locations. We managed to follow their movements solely while looking at the tips of their horns showing up above the overgrown ferns. 
Once the mouflons felt something was wrong, they started moving faster and got lowered beneath the high plants, thus turning invisible to us, but not to Stefan. Thanks to his many years of experience, our hunting guide had immaculately defined the shelter of the twisted horned refugees. It was not difficult to the hunter to shoot the mouflon in its hide while the animal was trying to merge with the surrounding vegetation. That one was up. See where it sneaked? Eighty-five, eighty-six, maybe. Not the meadow. Gold meadow. The trophy mouflon had deep scars along its horns from the ferocious clashes with its opponents. The tradition of paying homage to the animal was respected once again. Bendita was not about to abandon the hunters that were making everything possible to preserve Bulgaria's game and wildlife. The Mouflon trophies acquired during the previous days impressed all the hunters and nobody wanted to leave from there without a trophy of that animal which was so attractive. Yet rain and the renewed aggressive battles between the fallow deer were about to create lots of problems to those willing to hunt mouflons. After the rain that had fallen, the sun was trying to make up for lost time and the evaporating moisture made a bluish mist amidst where the deer were running by the trees like ghostly creatures. The warm and bright sun rays lure the forest inhabitants into the open air, where they can dry their animals' wet bodies. The fight between the fallow deer is exceptionally aggressive and oftentimes one of the two opponents dies from its horrific injuries. Their strange behavior when walking for kilometers next to each other and then suddenly turning and producing a surprising hit to the other opponent resembles a lot like a western scene. The mouflons had preferred once again to leave the deer's battlefield and got secluded in a small meadow. Once again, we witness two fallow deer stalking with their impressive antlers. Mm -hmm. 
a youth with its gracious walk hid behind the nearby uphill while attracting our attention. But Stefan was aware for all of us and warned us just in time of the danger coming from the poisonous viper that sneaked up almost to our feet. In these virgin regions of the Elena Balkan, the mouflon felt great. No predator was capable of surprising it in the vast fields overgrown with fern. From the hilltop, we could hear deer roaring, and their cries were getting to us in the crystal clear air from many kilometers. Tens of reindeer and fallow deer were calling from all slopes of the surrounding mountains. Once again, we caught a glimpse of the horn tips of the mouflons running amidst the high fern. And again, our hunting guide immaculately led us towards the hiding animals. After the precise shot, we got a magnificent mouflon trophy once again. Antoine? Thank you. Thank you. Put it on the hat. <laughs> No. Very, very beautiful. Mm-hmm. And you are a good hunter. Not so much today. <laughs> no, you are. We have mouflon. Been fun. Yes, we have the mouflon. In the evening, our polite hosts once again surprised us with the news that near one of the hunting hides, they saw a very large deer. Dave was quite thrilled because Jean-Luc's trophy attracted him irresistibly. In the morning, he was impatiently waiting to catch a glimpse of the huge silhouette in the shadows amidst the trees. A youth passed along the forest edge, and we could hear two other deer roaring behind us in the forest. The expectation was already unbearable because of the excitement that was overwhelming when the roar was approaching.
kaput. Kaput. Oh, kaput. Kaput. Congratulations. Wow, okay. Good job. Really good kaput. job. Wow. How big is that? Kaput. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Uh, how many can? It seemed the hunter could still not believe his luck that backed him so unexpectedly. Dave was still unable to realize he got an incredible trophy. It's a tradition here to make like this. <laughs> so you're happy now? Very happy, yes. <laughs> In the yard in front of the hunting home, they all had to go out and see the handsome deer and greet the happy hunter. It's incredible to see how much they differ in the various countries. Yep, made the whole trip. Look at this. A bit of calming effect this has. Right. Yeah. You see, not as much with the senses. The next day, Bruno was quite bitter and disappointed because he still didn't have a deer trophy. So he headed out together with Stefan to look on the move for a large animal localized in the region of one of the northern mountainous ridges. It was the first time Bruno saw mating follow deer's brutal behavior, and he was enchanted by the sight. He's greeting us. At one upland, we heard the deep throaty roar of a large male. Our hunting guide decided that given the situation and the wind that was constantly changing its direction, it would have been impossible to stalk the deer on the move, so we headed for the nearby game field where we were about to get concealed in the convenient hunting hide. On our way, we witnessed once again the frenetic follow deer.
Once again, Bendita, the hunting goddess, was benevolent to the hunter, and the green twig was about to sway well deservedly onto his hat. Traditionally, in front of the hunting home, all of them had gathered, even before fetching the animal. They were impatient to see the unique video shots and the pictures taken of the hunt. Look here. Yeah. So where is the specialist? <laughs> Another hunting day had a successful ending, and Bruno, happy with the magnificent trophy, could foretaste the moments in which he was about to share the experience with his friends after going back home. The next day, Dave followed follow deer traces of which Bruno had told him about over dinner. Usually, the chance of hunting a particular follow deer on the move with stalking is almost zero. But during that period, our chances of stalking on the move were good. Because at that time of year, all follow deer were roaring like crazy. The successful warriors were keeping their harems, and should the females have not gone away, the males were about to be somewhere around. Dave proved once again that he is one of the most precise shooters that have ever visited the Elena Balkan. The hunter was about to go away with the most trophies in the whole group. He already had a great mouflon, red deer, awarded with a gold medal and had taken down quite an elderly follow deer.
The impressive trophies gathered in the meadow made the hunters' hearts beat faster when remembering the unforgettable experience. Three reindeer, one fallow deer, five mouflons, and two wild boars, all of them outstanding with the exceptional trophy qualities. The result was achieved by the hunters for eight days in Bulgaria. There, people had managed to turn the Elena Balkan into a paradise for wild red deer, fallow deer, and mouflons. Paradise maintained by hunters and hunting organizations interest from Europe and North America. Because you work every day, that's why we were able to shoot that. Thank you. The excitement, feel the danger, share the adventure. 